This is John Halligan, and for more than 20 years, from the mid-60s through the mid-80s, he was a vital part of the New York Rangers organization. His title was Public Relations Director and Vice President of Communications, but he was more than that. He was a friend to everyone that he met and everyone and every life he touched. He passed away early yesterday morning at his home in New Jersey, and we send our deepest condolences to his wife, Janet, and the entire Halligan friends and family. John Halligan was a special person. Everyone who came to the New York Rangers in any capacity met John first. He would welcome them, greet them, and make them feel at home. He was also an advisor to the coach and general manager sitting alongside Emil Francis, who called on him for advice and guidance. But John was a great representative of the organization, a great speaker with great wit and humor. Always busy, but he always had time for everyone who called him and spoke with him and needed his advice. And even at times he went on the air as a broadcaster, but a great friend with an anecdote for everything and everyone. And his pride of late was the publishing of the book, 100 Ranger Greats. Maybe his greatest moment, his proudest moment, was being awarded the Lester Patrick Trophy for his service to hockey in the United States. Coming in under that marquee was the thrill of a lifetime to a guy who uh, grew up watching the Rangers. And going into the garden itself, the, um, the virgin ice, it was so white and it, it just shone, it was, it was magical. And then when the, the teams would come on, the, their colors would just burst they, when they came out of the locker room, particularly the Red Wings and the Can Canadiens with their colorful uniforms. Uh, it was a, a magical experience. 